Now, leadership of the MPP, who supervised the massively attended Wongbo demonstration today, met the Greater Accra Police Command to answer why the initially agreed route was aborted. Thousands of MPP fanatics protesting the erratic power supply on Wednesday ignored police instructions to use the TUC end of the road rather and rather took the demonstration to the central business district. Greater Accra Police Commander DCOP Tete Yohonu said that that is a breach to the earlier agreement they had with organizers of the demonstration. Joni sources suggest a report of the outcome of the meeting will be submitted to the legal team for further action. My name is Stephen Enti and this is today's big story. So this big story is brought to you in association with Lifeline Properties, affordable, comfortable, and quality housing. Now, the police administration is unhappy with what it calls a breach of an earlier agreement with organizers of the Wongbo demo, which hit Accra at a meeting with leadership of the MPP today. The police expressed concerns over the breach, which they say constitutes indiscipline. Let's get quickly onto the telephone line and speak to the MPP's Kweku Kwating, who, uh, who is part of the organizers. Uh, good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Uh, good evening. Now, I'm grateful that you could join us. I know you're very busy. Now, tell us, why did the organizers of this demo decide to breach an agreement that has been signed with the police? Well, to begin with, I think I have to correct it, that I was not really part of the organizers. Um, okay. it, it was done by the party headquarters. That's right. Okay. Uh, even though we all participated in the exercise. Right. So you Well, made... in respect mm. of the rules, you know, the police attempted to... Uh, not attempted. The police actually went to court mm. and sought uh, the court's orders in directing the route for the demonstration. Mm. Now, if you look at the ruling of the court, uh, it's exactly the route we used. It said UTC. I didn't have seen a copy of the ruling. Mm -hmm. It wasn't TUC, as we've been made to understand. It was UTC. I'm sure you are in a position to yeah. uh, procure for yourself a copy of the, uh, of the ruling. And as far as I'm concerned, the, the route we used represented the orders that the court gave. Mm. And so uh, I am um, finding it difficult to appreciate what the police meant by we breaking any, any law or any provision of, of the public order. Right, Mr. Carson, but we were told by the police that, uh, they, that they went to court to seek an amendment of this route that were earlier was earlier communicated to you. Are, are you aware of this? Uh, yes, that's what I'm referring to. The, in the end, the ruling of the court uh, contained mm. a particular route. Okay. And that route was where we used, the, I think the only difference was um, where the police was seeking us to use uh, the TUC route. Um, we, in, we saw in the order that it was UTC, and that is what we used. I mean, mm. if you can get a copy for yourself and see the, uh, the court's ruling, it wasn't TUC as the police would want us to believe. It was the UTC, and mm. uh, that was the route we used. I was part of the demonstration, and I am finding it difficult to understand why the police would consider that we did something unlawful. So you obviously would not say that uh, this amounted to indiscipline on the part of the organizers? At all. I mean, this was a demonstration by not just the NPP, but many uh, sympathizers of the issues we put in the public domain during the demonstration. You had the flag bearer of the mm. NPP. You had many uh, distinguished members of Ghanaian society participating uh, in, this, in this demonstration. We would not do anything unlawful. We didn't do anything unlawful. Uh, the route we used was very representative of the orders of the of the court, mm. and I think the police ought to be congratulating the NPP for organizing not just the biggest demonstration ever in the history of this country, but 
for the peaceful manner in which we conducted ourselves. The police ought to be congratulating us. And, uh, I mean, we, we are also aware that the police went into a meeting with leadership of the MPP. Are you able to tell us uh, what happened, transpired at the meeting? Were you there? Well, unfortunately, I was not there. Mm -hmm. As I have indicated, uh, those who led the demonstration are the headquarters, our headquarters leadership. And uh, I am not part, I wasn't part of the meeting. Uh, we could find out what might have transpired at the meeting. Okay. But uh, I have discussions with uh, some of the key leaders of this demonstration, and their views are very consistent with what I've been telling you. Right, uh, Gregu Kwarteng, we're grateful for your time on today's big story. Gregu Kwarteng is MP for Obwasi West. He's a member of the MPP, although he's not a uh, part of the organizers. He tells us that they all work together. Now, we're joined in the studio by uh, Afre Nuyama, who uh, has been on the beat for this whole uh, demonstration. How are you, sir? I'm great, Stephen. I know you're tight. I mean, this time is tight for all of us. Uh, quickly, tell me, you were at the meeting today. What exactly transpired at that meeting? Well, this meeting had representatives of the MPP, including mm. uh, national youth organizer Samir Uku. You had uh, national organizer uh, John Buedu mm. there as well. And the, one other person, Frank Davis, a, a notable personality legal practitioner within the MPP. I understand that the police have refused to comment for unexplained reasons, uh, but uh, sources at the Accra Regional Police command tell me that uh, even though the meeting was inconclusive, they are forwarding a report of mm. this meeting to their legal and prosecution department to mm. for advice. That's more, like, that's on, more like a threat. I mean, we want to seek legal advice. So if we see an option to go to court or sue, we will do that. Is that what it, it looks like? Well, the police uh, say that and they insist that the, M the MPP mm. failed to, you know, follow uh, the agreed route that was TUC and use the uh, central business district area. And, and even though the MPP have said that in the court order that they received, it had UTC, the police say that that was clearly not the agreement. So uh, what will happen now? And we are not sure because they are now seeking advice from their legal but department. But if it was, according a, if it was to our a court order and the court order said <laughs> one thing and they went by it and the police comes back to say no that's not what we mean then it means there's some form of contradiction to, to, to all of this and the police is not talking it's very sad right well Stephen what information I, I picked up today where I, I, the police uh, Accra Regional mm -hmm. Police uh, headquarters is that the initial court order that came uh, talking about the route they should use had a typographical error, error. And, and and that had the UTC instead of the TUC but whose fault is it if there was a typo anyway? the court clerk yeah. obviously mm. so the MPP had received that, that that letter that had the UTC and later on the police understand upon receiving uh, upon realizing this, this error typo. and mm. went to the MPP called the MPP and told them that look they, they got a, another order with a correct, correction that had the TUC there mm. And a meeting was organized a day before the demonstration, and the, the representatives of the MPP uh, were at the Accra Regional Office. Mm -hmm. And they asked them, the, that meeting was inconclusive. They told them that, go back to your leadership, tell them this is our position, and come back to us. But uh, according to police sources, and this information I cannot independently verify, That's but these are highly right. placed sources mm -hmm. within the police service, that come back and uh, uh, let's sort things out. They didn't hear from uh, officials of the MPP again. Mm -hmm. So they went back to them. And per the understanding, the impression, they had every reason to believe that they were going to use the TUC route. So uh, on the day of the demonstration yesterday, uh, they, they again, Police officials again went to the demonstration ground and presented this court order. And uh, MPP Chairman Paul Afoko mentioned this to us yesterday in an mm -hmm. interview with us that they had this court order. But uh, well, for whatever reason, that was not adhered to. They, Perhaps they decided it was too late for them to do anything about it. Well. That, that's that's was I'm sure when the, this matter is all uh, solved, we'll, we'll get a better understanding of it. But they insist that they decided to right. go by the earlier order of UTC and not and TUC. Not TUC. See.
Mm. That's very very interesting development. We've been trying to reach the police service over this, but nobody's uh, they're actually not picking our calls. We've spoken to uh, the PR of the Regional Police Command, and then we've spoken to the Greater Accra Regional Divisional Police Command and PROs, all of them, nobody is speaking. But I feel I need to get a better understanding of what transpired at the meeting. You've spoken to us about what you've picked as, as, as uh, you know, you're saying that your sources sh suggest that the report will be submitted to the legal department for further action. But at that meeting, what exactly took place? Uh, a number of issues were discussed. Uh, understand the the fact that it was a peaceful demonstration, but the the, the, the crux of of, of of today's meeting really uh, bordered around the controversy about quote and unquote approved or unapproved routes, unapproved Stephen. Routes. I, routes. I, I and really, uh, understand that the MPP maintained at this meeting that they did nothing wrong and the police insisted that that was not the right thing to do so it is that's more reason why uh, our police uh, and that, that that brings to an understanding why uh, the police sources are, are saying that they are perhaps uh, forwarding a report on this for advice on how to move this matter forward because uh, the, the, the stance of the MPP remains uh, the same, unchanged. That they did yeah. nothing they, they, wrong. They did nothing Frank wrong. Davis, uh, Frank Davis, who's a legal uh, lawyer, is a former uh, president of the Bar Association. He was there, so a leading member of. The, what did he say to, in all of this? Did he speak to you about the legal implications? Well, all uh, Frank Davis said, and I quote him. W the matter has been solved. Mm -hmm. It was Samir who I spoke to who mentioned that, and, and I, I put this matter to him, that uh, inf information I picked up indicates that th th there could be possible prosecution. That's a possibility, mm -hmm. let me emphasize. And he says that if it comes to that, they are prepared to face to uh, face, face the, to face the them. law. Yeah. Well, uh, I'll come back to you, but let me get onto the telephone line. Lawyer Maurice Ampar is joining us on the telephone now to help us explore the legal issues surrounding this whole public order act. Good evening, sir. Good evening, my brother. I am keen on this uh, public order act. There are many uh, like me who are not very well informed about the law who wonder whether when a group needs to go on demonstration, they need clearance, they need permission, or they just need to inform the police service. What does the law say exactly? The law clearly want to ensure that there is orderliness in mm public discourse and how uh, people relate to the public. Mm. And so therefore, the law, uh, when it comes to demonstration, you know, demo, uh, demonstration is, is, is a constitutional right guaranteed by the Constitution. And it, it, it's, a way, it's, uh, it's a way whereby people express uh, their, 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 their opinion mm. and their pain and their protest. Therefore, we don't want any law to take away that, that right. Mm. Therefore, the law says that when you want to do demonstration, all that you need, you don't need permit. You don't need permit. You don't need any approval. All that you need to do is to inform the police, mm. so that you the, so that you can now judge out the police as to when and how. So, 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 Dr. Ambao, let, let me pause a bit and uh, bring the, this issue uh, closer. Let's talk about this incident of the NPP. The police say that the NPP breached the originally agreed route, whilst they say that they told them to use the TUC and the NPP went ahead to use the TUC end. Police say there was a typo error in the first order, and so they amended the order with the correct one, and yet the MPP went ahead to use the old agreed uh, route instead of a new one. I mean, does, does this, is this really a big deal, actually? Uh, to me, it's not a big deal at all. I think that um, it's not a big deal. You see, what, what is important is that the, 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 the MPP actually law-abiding, trying to um, respect the police mm -hmm. and, and the Public Order Act, did the right thing by um, actually informing them mm -hmm. there was this meeting and uh, if there was an initial agreement to use Route A and later on it was corrected to Route B and then they used Route A. What prevented the police at, at that moment when they, they saw that there is deviation? What should they have done? Perhaps, so the, perhaps the numbers were overwhelming. That yeah, if the police but, went ahead to stop the crowd from using a particular route, it might lead to bloodshed, <laughs> maybe loss of lives. Thank you. So what the police have done, they have done what is reasonable, what, what is equitable, 
what is just in these circumstances. Mm. Laws are made for people, but at the same time, when you when you are playing the law, you use common sense. This is a situation we have in a large number of people. Mm. People, uh, they have come to you with all humility, uh, 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 applied to you, agreed. Now there are uh, deviants on their way. I don't know, they, those, the route that they use, what harm did they cause? What mm. inconvenience did they cause? So I think that all that you can do is just to and uh, maybe uh, draw the attention of uh, an MP, uh, the, the leadership of the PSO, please. This, this actually was what happened. The police not happy. Therefore, uh, next time, let's all make sure that when we agree on A, we do the A. That, that's, that's all. Right, Lampa. I don't think that... Mm. Lampa, I hope you hold. I will continue with the discussion, but kindly hold. So I'll wrap up with my studio guests and I'll return to you. So I'm afraid I know that you have to go, but uh, quickly tell me, you were on the uh, field as well. You followed the demonstration from... The beginning point to the end point, correct? Sure. Now, no, no, no. I, no. Try, I, try, I, try, I, I, I was actually right. Lampa, court. Lampa, I'll have you hold. I'm, I'm speaking to a okay. studio guest. I'll return okay, okay, to you. Okay. I will continue. I, I'm, I'm grateful. So you started from point one to the end point. Uh, tell me your observation. Did you foresee that if the police had gone in to perhaps enforce a change of route, it could have been bloody? It could have been, uh, Stephen, because looking at the numbers there, and on demo when we look at demonstrations of this nature, the, the atmosphere is charged. People are talking about the erratic power supply. People are really angry. Are uh, angry. And, and, and perhaps that, that's why the police did not, you know, mm. insist so much. And I, 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 I think it's, it would have been possible this could have escalated if the escalated police had in, in, insisted, really. Insisted. I, I understand. Now, uh, quickly, before you go, uh, did you see that there was a moment during the demonstration that it could have become violent, that even without the police coming in, the MPP members among themselves could have become destructive and perhaps refuse to be law-abiding? I think it was at this point that the, the, the leaders really uh, came in. The, some of the organizers, notable faces at the party at courses, mm -hmm. came in. And uh, it, w it was clear that these uh, demonstrators uh, were listening, ready to listen to their people. So at that point, it, I don't think it got there at So all. mainly you thought it was peaceful and law-abiding. Mainly, what about, what mainly about, so. What about the police? Uh, how, how would you describe their work on that day? Well, I've covered a number of demonstrations, and I think that on the day, uh, the police did a great job, mm. I must say. They did a great job. Despite the fact that they had differences with the roots, they still went ahead and did a great job. How do you mean great? I think that there have been instances in, in some demonstrations where you've had the police, the term they use is the reasonable force, reasonable quote, force unquote, when they, they are facing difficulties with controlling crowd and all that. I think that I agree with those who say that under the circumstance, due to the fact that it was possible that if they had insisted, it would, could have turned bloody, they, they, they did the right. Some reasonable yeah, force, but yeah. they didn't. They chose to. They chose to, to be yeah, on the cautious and deal it with it after the, the, the event. All right, as uh, they are doing now. Afraid we're grateful for your time. I know that you don't have a lot to spare. Uh, Afraid now is a journeys reporter with Joy FM. He has been covering the demonstrations from yesterday, and now he was in a meeting uh, with the leadership of the MPP. After after the, the, the demonstration, which is the fallout, uh, where, where the police is complaining that the MPP didn't stick to the agreed route. We still have uh, Dr. Uh, we still have Dr. Maurice Ampau on on the line. Uh, Dr. Ampau, so let me let me come back to you to discuss this Public Order Act again. I mean, I'm particularly concerned and curious because there are people who feel that demonstrators actually need permission from the police. So beyond just informing the police, what can anyone who wants to go on demonstration do? What options are available to people who want to go on demonstrations? You see, because demonstration is a public act mm. and there might be a lot of inconvenience, new signs caused to the public, and, and, and therefore, a security threat as well. So the law says that this always inform the police, and the police has no right whatsoever to refuse you without stating mm. reasons in law. They, 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 they must agree with you. They must convince you. When you insist on your right, then they go to court, and then they convince the court. That's what the law says. So the so, police have no right I whatsoever see. to, to uh, unreasonably uh, deny you that right. It's a constitutional right. So all that you need to do is to inform the police, you sit down with them, and they agree on the date, 
If you think that the date uh, the date is good for you, the police think that it's not good for you, and you insist on your right, then the police then have to go to the court to seek uh, an injunction to restrain you. And then you must co convince the court why that date is not convenient, but not because, uh, because it's taken away that right from you. I see. That, I that's, very, that's very interesting. So this is what happened in, in this instance. When the MPP sought to go on a demonstration, the police service went to court. So they actually went to court to, to restrain the MPP to stick to a particular route, I guess. Yeah, definitely. And, and you know, the, 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 the court refused. The court refused. The court sort of realized that, look, this is, this is not a matter that uh, you, you should bring uh, to the court and, and, and another way because you can still sit down with the people and then discuss it. Uh, in, fa in fact, my little opinion is that I think the positive, the good uh, side, what actually uh, came out of the demonstration was so, there was so much positive. The police did a good job. The demonstrator did a good job. So I, I thought that confidentially, the police should not have come out openly to say that uh, they, uh, they, they, have, uh, they, they, they have violated the, 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 the rules, they didn't follow the rules, rather on the, 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 the mostly or confidentially inform the leadership and then thank them for the good work done and raise those uh, little objections in, in confidence. So you don't, you don't, you don't I see. bring it out to the public domain to raise mm. tension. I see. So you feel that the police has no case, actually, for uh, going further to have uh, some kind of arbitration meeting and perhaps threatening the, the group that they will send a report of that meeting to their legal department for legal advice. You think all of this is not I, necessary I think that they, at should, all? They, should have kept, they should not make it public. Mm. They should have invited MP leadership quietly without publicly um, uh, discussing this matter. It's a security mm. matter. So inform the leadership that you want a meeting, congratulate them, because I don't know if they, uh, by, 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 they, they did the, the, the right thing, and you also did uh, uh, the right thing, and there was peace, I don't know they. So the only little factions, you just discuss that, oh, please, I think um, you, you didn't stick to the rules, so please explain to us next time. Caution is the other one, the caution. Right, I am what, what, what legal action can you take? And, and, and what, 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 what questions can you give at, at, at this time? I don't think that there's any legal action or sanctions. Right. I must remind our audience that we made several attempts to get the police service to uh, join a discussion on this, but it does appear that none of them is uh, willing to, to talk. I mean, the various PROs we have spoken to have referred us to another and another, and then we ended with the regional, Accra, Greater Accra Regional Police Command, who still uh, was not forthcoming in joining this discussion. That's why we're not hearing their side of the discussions for now. So you're still listening and watching today's big story. We have Dr. Maurice Ampau on, on the line. So Dr. Dr. Ampau, the case on our, uh, at hand now is that the MPP is promising, I don't know whether we should call it a threat, or promising to go on more demonstrations across the country. So the Accra Wongbo is, is over. They will perhaps shift it to Kumasi with another theme, Volta region with another theme. Do you think this is the way to go and that this is actually not too volatile for our, 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 the kind of democracy we have now? I think, I think th this is good for the democracy. Uh, because you see, that's the only way. Uh, if this is one of the ways by which you put text, you, you vent your anger, your frustration. It is better than than than, than engaging in violent act, mm -hmm. taking the law into your own hands. So what we need to do is to commend the opposition for 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 for, for actually uh, 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 going going in in accordance with the law. You see, it is a political season, but it's campaign season. So if the opposition wants to take advantage of, of that, why not? Mm -hmm. Because I think that. Uh, it is the uh, time they, 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 they also have to push the agenda. So uh, while they are demonstrating, they are also uh, sending a message across that they are capable of resolving the Doomsaw issue. So wh why for them? If mm -hmm. MP, 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 NDC was in position, you do, you, it might even have done worse. Uh, we, we know their track record. So if MPP is doing it, what, what is the beef about it? Mm -hmm. it it's, it's a constitutional uh, 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 right. They are expressing it within the, 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 the legal framework. So I think that is the podcast is in MPP is taking advantage of the season, the opportunity to campaign and then also to kneel the NDC down. And then it's a game. The NDC people understand it. And so what is important is that we don't, we don't, we don't disturb the peace of the nation and then we don't, we don't cause any security threat. So they should continue to cooperate with the police. And the police also, in all fairness and, 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 and in good faith, must, must make sure that they, 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 they allow the demonstration to go on peacefully. Right. Doc, there are those who say that the police 
uh, in its application of the Public Order Act has been too much of an iron-handedness sometimes. There are times that they're light, they're, they're, they're not too harsh on non-political groups. And then when it comes to political groups, they're a bit too hard. Do you feel that in application of the Public Order Act, the, the police has been too rigid? Oh, no, I don't think that they have been rigid. Because, you see, they are not the final beta when it comes to uh, uh, implementing and enforcing the Public Order Act. They're caught. Therefore, you can resist the police legally and refuse to uh, even uh, accept their, 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 their proposal. But the, the, the court will decide. That's why the law says that when there's this agreement and when, when, when they don't agree, do you, you, you think that the police have acted uh, 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 in excess of their powers or they, they have acted arbitrarily, mm. then you resort to the court. So I think that uh, the, the police is doing the, the, the right thing and then we should continue to uh, uh, um, applaud them and monitor them and ensure that we also insist on their right. So once you realize that the police is uh, trying to uh, misapply the public order act, then the court is there to seek redress. So, Doc, is there any case law or precedent which you, you recall for which the police went to court over the public order act and lost? Uh, it, it's normally difficult because always it looks as if they are able to convince the, 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 the court mm. because they always come out with uh, the story that look uh, we, we don't have the numbers. Yeah. Uh, for example, those who wanted to go to demonstration on Independence Day, uh, how feasible is that? And at times when there is an international uh, program, so mm. the police always come out and say that look, my, 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 the court we are ready and willing to assist, right. but we have challenges. And the, the court realized that, look, if the police have challenges, uh, security is very important. It's key. Uh, it's security key. is so paramount mm. than anything else. So your right to demonstrate it, 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 it should not should not, should not uh, uh, be a security concern. So normally the court normally gives in because once the police raise security issues, the court is ready to listen to them. Right. And, then, uh, and then allow the police to 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 to, to think, I mean, right. uh, 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 mm. right, Dr. Morris Ampao, we're grateful for your time. Dr. Morris Ampao is president of the Legal Advocacy Foundation yeah, and he joined us on today's big story. My name is Stephen Enti and this is where we draw the curtains. We'll be right back with an interactive segment. <laughs>